How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I picked up a pretty cool beer because it is from Colombia. It is called Aguila, and it says La Cerveza de Colombia, which probably means the beer of Colombia. So, you know, I'm not going to say this is really the beer of Colombia. That's what the bottle says. Uh, it also says 1913, so I'm assuming that that is when it was originally brewed. It is only four points, four uh, four percent ABV. It's a 330 milliliter bottle, and it is considered a light beer. So I'm anticipating like a kind of Corona, you know. I don't know. I I try to compare these uh, these beers with with companies that that everybody knows. Now it does say a, a brewery name, but I'm not even gonna attempt to try to say that because it is clearly, clearly in, uh, in another language. I'm going to try my best right now to do something that doesn't usually work, and that is I'm going to try peel the stupid sticky crap off of the cap so that I can keep it. Oh, it's actually working. This, this never works, first of all. Let me tell you all that. Now, as soon as I pop this off, I'm going to show you all what it looks like. Something tells me it's just going to be a, a smaller version of, a, of the label. So, alright, like I said, it never works, but you get an idea. It's got the whole bird thing going on that you got going on in the front. Alright, or should I say, salad. I'm going to pour this baby into a glass that I recently had to rinse because I ran out of freaking glasses. <sighs> now, hold on a minute here. Got it. All right. Bottle cap. Later. Oh, fail. Nothing special. It does, certainly has that skunky taste, that, uh, aroma that we're all used to when we're drinking uh, beers like Corona, Carob, Sol. I could just keep going. All right. Bam. This is certainly a light beer. Kind of has like. Now you can you can see fair amount of carbonation on the side of the glass, but it has dissipated quite quickly. There's barely any head. There's going to be zero lace. This is why I usually don't drink beers like this. Now, it is... You know what? The I've had this before, and I'll tell you this. It's very misleading because the first sip tastes like crap. And then you keep going and you keep going and it tastes a little bit better. Very, very, very light. I'm trying to think of something I can compare this taste to, but it's impossible. Yeah, it looked like there was carbonation, but there's like none in the taste. It, like, basically, basically tastes like a flat beer, but it's not flat, so it's drinkable. It's all I'm picking up. <laughs> I'm getting zero aromas. I don't know if that's because I took a sip first uh, mistakenly or because it is just like one of those beers that I would never try again. I don't even know what to say about this beer. Very bland. Way too light. Like, look, look at this. No lace. Zip. Colombia, come on, man. You got something better to offer than this? 
I'm sure you do. I'm just it's entertainment value. Still trying. Getting nothing but skunky skunk skunk and skunk skunk. <laughs> I'm trying not to burp in my reviews, but for for this occasion, I'm gonna burp like crazy because it's probably gonna be the most entertaining part of this video. My other ones are usually a lot better, but this has got n not much to say about it. Mm. funny because you go to LCBO and the shelf is just like littered with the stuff because nobody's buying it. Mm. Get a chill up my spine. Oh my gosh. This is drinkable. I've had to pour two or three out of like my 35 beer reviews out there down the sink because they were so terrible. And yes, again, two of them it's from Trafalgar, and if you're going to buy a beer from there, you better let me know if you had the same experience. Because if they do a 360, I'm going to hop all over that crap. That's it, people. This is boring. Boring, boring, boring. Boring. I'm not even going to finish it on camera. It's done. That goes, oh, I can't even say that's the quickest review anymore. Damn. All right, people, whatever. Drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Have a great day or night or afternoon, depending on wherever the heck you are. Take it easy.